Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at some of the purchases that I made at Urban Outfitters this month. So if you wanna see how every piece looks, stay tuned. So the first thing that I got is this blue sweater. The main reason why I got it is because of the color. I also like the crew neck that it has. Although it's kind of a weird time to be purchasing a piece like this because it's getting warmer in LA. I still like this piece a lot and I can probably just keep it for next winter. I think the length is a good length, although the crew neck, um, it looks much better online than on me. I don't think I have the longest neck, so crew necks on me don't really look the same as on the model. Um, but I still like it. I think I'm probably gonna keep this one. It wasn't really the cheapest sweater to get at Urban Outfitters and Urban Outfitters isn't really that cheap to begin with. But I like it enough. I like how it wears and I think I'm just gonna have to be careful about washing it because it seems like it would be something that could get easily ruined on the washing machine. The next thing that I got is this salmon pink color trench coat. I've been wanting to get a trench coat for a while. I think they're one of the most classic pieces that you can get. And the color is really, really nice. As you can see, it's mainly salmon, but it has pink on the color. It also has a belt, and the length, it's a bit too long for me. I just think in general, the piece looks better online than in real life, at least on me. It doesn't look the way I envision it. So I'm probably not gonna keep this one, but I'm still glad I got it because I wanted to see how it would look. It's If this was shorter and it just fit a little bit better, then I'll probably make the investment and keep it. But it's kind of expensive. I think it's more than $200 and it doesn't fit properly. So it's gonna be a pass for me. And a lot of the pieces that I'm gonna be showing you guys, they still have the tags because I still haven't decided if I'm gonna keep everything or not so I do have the option of still returning everything as you guys probably know when you're watching this video we have the going on so stores here in the US including Urban Outfitters are closed for the moment so I can't really do any returns directly at the store which is usually my preferred method because then I can just do it and avoid having to wait 10 days just for something to arrive to its warehouse and then get picked and then it takes a bunch more time to get the actual return onto your credit card so to avoid that i always go to the store but given the circumstances obviously that's not even an option so i'm just gonna be mailing in everything that i decide i didn't like so the next thing i got is this little red number main reason why i got it is because of this little flower i just really like these kind of pieces where it's a very monochromatic look and then there's just like a very simple graphic on some part of the sweatshirt it's very similar to the style of the blue sweatshirt that i just showed you guys so yes i believe both pieces are from the same brand so they do have a similar look to them this piece i do really want to keep it i'm still debating because even though i do like it a lot i just can't picture where i would wear it i'm trying to buy more things that i can wear to work comfortably where i won't feel too dressed down so i'm trying to invest on things that they look put together and they still have kind of my style which is more casual but still kind of quirky and colorful and fun because i do work for a more creative type of company so i want to invest in pieces that i'm going to feel good going into work with but that they still have my style again really like the print like the crew neck and i like that the red is not a very abrasive red it's almost borderline orange red which i prefer than just pure red the next thing i got is a long sleeve top and it looks something like this I don't think I dislike this top. I was kind of having my doubts when I ordered it. I didn't think the fit or the style would fit me that well. But when I tried it on, I actually liked it a little bit more than I was expecting. However, the material, I just don't think it's going to last for that long. And I've had... Oh, let me get rid of this. I've had similar pieces from Sarah and H&M and they just do not seem to last. Maybe after one or two uses, the piece doesn't really look at all like when you first got it. And just buying something for one or two times is not enough for me. It's not like a good investment. And I know Urban Outfitters is more like a fast fashion type of brand, but I still want to invest in something that is going to last me for at least 
couple of years if not more so I'm probably gonna return these again I do not hate it I actually like it more than I anticipated however just the material doesn't seem like it's gonna last it's just probably gonna be a no for me on that one the next thing I got is this white top with a crunch up material in the middle um, it's a very classic summer or spring type of top that we've been seeing a lot for the past seasons so I think most people now probably have something like this again I don't think I dislike the fit I can see myself wearing this maybe on a couple of things here and there nothing like work and I think most of the things that I have to get now have to be able to fit around my work life because I go to work for most of the week so I have to be able to have things that I feel comfortable in wearing at work this white top is not necessarily one of them so I'm probably gonna pass on it I think if the material had been a little bit better I probably would have considered a little bit more but again just the material doesn't seem like it's gonna last those are the main reasons why I'm gonna pass on it so it seems like I'm gonna be returning most of these things there is a good and a bad side to it because I mean I did spend my time trying to search for pieces that I thought would fit me well that I can envision myself wearing it but at the same time Urban Outfitters it is pricey so you want to make sure that you're buying things that you are 100% convinced you can already picture at least three to four looks that you can comfortably wear and that you're not just gonna put away in your closet and not wear it for who knows how long and then you're gonna end up donating it or just having it there take up real estate in your closet when I think most people just want to keep things that they can see themselves wearing very often. So the good side of returning all of this is obviously I'm going to get my money back and I can probably use that money for something much better, especially right now that we're going through kind of a scary and uncertain time in the world. It's probably the best idea to keep your money stashed away or invest it or do something that's more worthwhile of your money and your time. So although some of these pieces I was anticipating for a while to get them, try them on, see how they fit, see how I like them. It's not the worst idea to be returning them. So I'm trying to be very certain with my decisions. And if I have doubts about a piece, I'm just gonna return it. I don't wanna just keep something for the heck of it. Okay, the next thing that I got is this yellow shirt. To be honest, I think this shirt reminds me so much of shirts that I've actually seen at the thrift store. I can see a dad or a mom maybe in the 80s wearing something like this and then eventually selling it at a yard sale. Um, that's what I think. I wouldn't be surprised if I see something exactly like this at a yard sale around my area. But I don't know, I just thought it had like a cool vibe, especially the yellow. I love yellow as you can tell. This is more like a washed off yellow, but, it, but I still like it. It's not as abrasive again, it's a little bit more mellow. I kind of dig the tigers and I just watched Tiger King, oh my god that show is intense to say the least but I like the shirt I just don't think I liked it enough to want to keep it but I the idea of it it was pretty close to what I saw online it's not like I saw something online and it was completely different once I got it no it was pretty close to what I was envisioning it I just realistically don't think I'm gonna wear it more than just a couple of times outside and it's gonna be mainly gonna be a lounge shirt and for the price which I actually have a tag with this it's $34 before taxes I just don't think it's worth it it's, I can probably just go to a thrift store and find something similar so it's also gonna be a pass for me I'm not gonna keep it but yeah it's not if it fits you well and if you have like a very certain look that you want to do with that kind of shirt it's probably not the worst thing to keep it because again it does look a lot like the picture that you see online which is always preferred for me I don't like it when I get something so completely different than what's online because I think our clothing companies that base their sales through their online business have to make sure that the photographs are putting out there are representative of the actual pieces so that when customers order something it actually looks close enough to what they're selling I mean I know that's kind of like a ethics thing um, every company is going to try to make their pieces look good no matter what no matter the material that they're using or how it's going to end up looking in real life just prefer companies that really choose their pictures well to represent what the piece is going to end up looking like so you don't waste your time ordering something that 
doesn't look anything like what their model looks like so the next piece that i got is this little similar to the other piece but it's more stretchy again with a crunch up material in the middle um i like the thicker straps i don't know i just prefer this kind of straps i don't really like the very thin straps on shirts like this and i love the color the color is super cute but Again, going back, I'm repeating myself so many times, but I just don't want to get anything that I can picture myself right away knowing what I want to do with it. And for this, I can see maybe one outfit with it. I don't think I will wear it enough to justify buying it now. So the next thing I got, it's mainly a piece that I got because of Best Dress. She's a YouTuber that I'm pretty sure everybody knows about. She has like 2 million subscribers or something, or at least close to that. Um, she's super fashionable, funny, smart. And she had a video where she was showing this piece, style in many different ways. I was so impressed with that video. I thought, how can you do that many things with just one single main piece of clothing? And no, she did it. She did so many different looks and a variety of looks, going from cute to sexy to smart to sophisticated. So I wanted to try it myself. So this is the, sh the dress. I'm gonna link the video that I'm referring to on the description below, but I'm pretty sure most people have seen that video already. That dress itself is super cute. I got a size small because based on her video, she said to size down and I noticed that the reviews on this piece of clothing had the same recommendations, which was to size down. So I did, I probably would be a medium normally on dresses like this, but I got a small. Um, it ended up not closing all the way. I feel like if I had tried a little bit harder, I could have probably closed it all the way, but I could so I just don't think the size worked too well for me. The other thing that didn't work for me that well was the color. I think if this was a bit of a brighter red or an orange or blue, I would like it more. On the picture or on Best Dresses video, it gives me more of a salmon reddish vibe. While this is more brown, I just don't think brown color in this sort of silhouette really does match for my body type so i'm gonna also return this one now going back to the shirts i got another shirt that has the same vibe as the yellow one with the tigers this time it's a purple shirt about pink floyd i don't know how people are nowadays but i know some people don't like it when when girls or guys or whatever they buy shirts that have the name of a band that they've never even heard about or even heard their songs for me this is gonna be the case i know pink floyd i've heard of them i probably heard two songs I don't know much about them musically. I know their genre is a little bit on the punkish rock side, but I bought it because I really like the print. I like the color. I thought it would be a fun shirt to have, but I think my reason for returning this because I am going to return it is the same thing as the yellow shirt. I think the shirts would be easy to buy thrifted for the price. It's not the most expensive looking thing to get and I think the main place where I could wear this comfortably would be at home and I don't want to spend this kind of money on a shirt that I'm just gonna be wearing at home so again it's gonna be a pass for me but I can see so many younger girls buy something like this and they will rock it I've seen a lot of girls wearing shirts like this that are oversized and long and they wear them with maybe short shorts but the shirt is so long that it almost looks like you're not wearing any shorts or pants which is kind of a cool look if you can pull it off I don't think I can I think I'm too old for that kind of stuff so I don't think I can pull something like that off so there's no point for me I can't really visualize a certain look that I would want to do with this particular shirt except for me lounging around the house okay so I also I'm wearing one of the things that I got which is like this red corduroy pants so I happen to have the exact same pants in a different color. I feel like the blue one that I got two years ago of this same style is a little bit more exciting, but I still like this enough to keep it. I can see myself wearing it with a more relaxed type of shirt, kind of like what I'm wearing right now, nothing crazy, and maybe some Doc Martens. Just something casual, nothing too forced. Um, I like corduroy, I don't know 
I think everybody has their own opinion about corduroy being fashionable or not. I like corduroy. I used to wear it a lot when I was a kid. I'm still not sure if it's like the best type of material for my body. I have wider hips, like a wider bottom, and maybe corduroy, because of the texture, it adds some centimeters to my frame. But I, I like this, and I like the color. I've always liked like brick orange colors and this reminds me of that it's like a brick orange so i'm probably gonna keep it as well so yay like my thing i have like three four things that i'm gonna keep out of everything another piece of clothing that i got is this long sleeve top it's cropped and this one i am gonna keep i liked it from the beginning i liked it in the picture i like how it looks on me i think because it's black it kind of helps mitigate the fact that it's cropped and of course it's the long sleeves that they are kind of see-through if you can tell I don't know if you can tell but they are see-through but nothing too crazy I think that kind of helps it not look heavy so you know it's just it's just a good balance in my eyes I think the color helps a lot I wouldn't mind like seeing other colors of this kind of style though but yeah I can definitely see myself like styling this in many different ways both kind of casual to go to work even as long as I wear something that's obviously high-waisted or something cute to wear with the girls when I'm go out you can do a lot of things with the same piece even if something looks a little bit revealing you can probably tone it down by just adding like a cool jacket or a more structured pair of pants or like change the shoes the shoes I think can really make an outfit casual or more formal now going to the things that didn't really fit as far as clothing goes at least I have these pants so there's not gonna be a video of me trying it on because it just didn't fit it did go up I didn't try to button it up because even though it did go up I could already see major issues with the fit on the back I'm just gonna return this I think it could have been a cool look but at the same time I think I have to face the fact that this kind of pants don't really work well on me or at least they don't make me look the best I need to stick to more fitted looks and these kind of baggy pants like I can totally see so many looks with this on the right girl so it's just not for me I think as you get older you have to start facing what doesn't look good and what does look good on you so don't try to just follow the trends and do everything that everybody else is doing. If it doesn't look good on you, if you don't feel comfortable, anything like that, don't force yourself to wear it. It's just not good. You're not going to feel good. You're going to be spending money. And then when it's time to actually wear it, you're going to feel uncomfortable, maybe insecure. And you're not going to end up actually wearing it. You're going to change and go back to the same pants that you always wear because those are the pants that make you more comfortable. I'm being very strict with myself with what I keep just for my own sake. I want to learn how to be better at picking clothing for my body type so fingers crossed my next purchase is is gonna be much better because now i think i know the silhouette that fits me the best so it will help once i'm like going through pages and pages of different retailers another pair of pants that didn't fit i have most of my fitting issues with pants because again my bottom tends to be wider these jeans and i think they're like mom jeans no they're like slim straight so with other jeans i do wear this size which is 27 but i think because this is the very stiff type you know like it doesn't stretch at all i can't pull this kind of thing off so i probably would have to size up two sizes maybe to a 29 to make it fit i don't think i'm gonna rebuy it using the right size i'm gonna wait until stores open and then i can actually go in there and try some stuff on and Try different fits and see what works best. I think slim, skinny jeans that are high-waisted probably looks the best. So now for the shoes. I bought, I think, like five pairs of shoes. And let's start with the good ones. So this Fila ones, it's in a very light pink color. I really like it. But you guys probably are better at knowing what shade of pink this is. But I don't think it's like a baby pink or anything else it has to be like um, another type of color more bridal if you guys know what I'm saying 
think I can wear this with light wash jeans and a trench coat or a little blazer to make it more casual even with like skirts or something just to make the outfit more casual I didn't want to go back to whites for now I have another not similar but another white pair of sneakers so I didn't want to buy the same thing pretty much so I'm definitely gonna keep this one I like it I like the fit I want to make sure that I try this song with a couple of outfits that I have in mind just to make sure that I can get my money's worth out of this so yeah first pair of shoes that I'm gonna keep for sure the other pair that I'm gonna be showing you guys I was very excited to get I've been wanting this pair of shoes for a while now probably five years or something um, I got something slightly similar to it um, from H&M years ago but they're wearing out and I felt like why not just get the real thing it's probably gonna be better anyways in the long run so I finally gave in and got this Doc Martens very basic shoes um, I love this kind of shoes I wish I could get these in a brown too kind of like a reddish brown but I never see them on the side so for now I just got the basic black the problem with this and why I'm not keeping it is because they're way too big. I kind of got greedy and I noticed that my size, which is six and a half, wasn't available on the side, but I really wanted it. So I just got a size eight, which is huge for me. It's like a, a size and a half bigger. So yeah, they definitely have to go back. I'm probably going to go to the directly to the Doc Martens site and just buy the shoes from there because... Yeah, why not support the actual brand? So I got this other Doc Martin shoes and again, this is like a style of shoes that I've been wanting to get for a very long time. Finally decided, you know why, what the heck, just do it. So I got it, but again, I have the same issue. They're just a little bit too big. I think these are a seven, but I have to double check. But either way, they're just a little bit too big. So I want to get the perfect size for me, so I'm just going to return these and try to get them directly from the Dr. Martin site and get the right size from them. Okay, another fun pair of shoes that I got were these leopard ones. Okay, main thing why I got them, I think they really subconsciously remind me of the Nanny Fine. I don't know if you guys have ever watched the Nanny, um, things like a 90s sitcom. I can totally picture her wearing this with black tights, a pencil skirt, a little blazer, you know, like her, totally her style. For me, this wouldn't be like the most obvious choice to pick. I was actually kind of surprised on myself that I picked them but I think I would like to do something similar to what Nanny Fine would do with this kind of shoes with like black tights I don't know it's just something fun to have so I'm still going back and forth if I'm gonna keep them or not but for now I'm gonna keep them I'm gonna try to work on three looks that I can do with these that I feel comfortable in so the other reason why I got it is because of the heel I really like this kind of square heels mainly because they're comfortable and I just like the look. I feel like when heels are wide over here in this section and then they go smaller and smaller, it just makes your calves look bigger. And if you're like skinny and like a model type of girl, maybe that wouldn't even be an issue that your calves look a slightly wider. But for me, I, I have pretty big soccer player type of calves and legs. So I don't want to emphasize how wide they are. So I just really like this type of heels. And it helps that they're more comfortable to walk in. You don't have to be scared of falling every now and then. Um, they're just super comfortable. I can run in this probably. The only thing, and I don't know if you guys can tell, is that they sent this to me with the security device on it. I don't know if I can, I don't know how you would be able to remove these. So I'm not sure if I'm going to wait until the store opens or I'm going to actually just return these and ask them to send me something without the sensor on or just remove the sensor. I'm not sure, like one or the other. Yeah, I still have to decide if I want to keep it to begin with, but I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. The next thing I got is this hat. Um, it's like a Panama hat. I really like the color. I thought it was cute. I think it's just my head is too big for this. <laughs> it just doesn't. It doesn't feel that um, comfortable, and it 
it's not uncomfortable but it just doesn't feel as comfortable as I would like it to be it's still definitely cute As I tried it on I just couldn't envision myself what I would be wearing it with and I feel like it's a red flag when I can immediately picture myself wearing it because what's happened first that I buy something I tell myself yeah I like it I'm gonna wear it but then I never reach for it because I immediately couldn't even think of what can I pair this with so that it represents my style, it makes me feel comfortable, and I can wear it to multiple locations out there. If I can't picture myself almost right away knowing what I would wanna wear it with, then it's probably not gonna be a piece that I'm gonna be reaching out to. So it's best to return that kind of stuff back to where it came from because it might be a cute piece but maybe it just doesn't fit your style as much as you thought when you initially bought it so just get your money back and buy something that you're gonna wear over and over and over again and that is always gonna make you feel comfortable the last things that I got are just like a couple of accessories nothing crazy I bought these three hairpins I just really like the soft type of colors and then the material is just very soft to the touch and the colors are monochromatic and very simplistic and almost minimalist but in a cool way. I feel like I can see myself wearing these. I was debating if I should get another one so that I can get the same colors and maybe wearing it together like a pink with a pink, a blue with a blue because I just got these three and none of them obviously are the same color but I'm not sure. I have to sit on that one. I'm totally fine mismatching the colors or just wearing one maybe two might be a little bit too kiddish for me now but I mean we'll see. Even though I'm trying to be a grown-up about fashion, I'm trying to be more responsible with it and buy and wear things that are going to be more reasonable with my lifestyle now, I still think fashion is supposed to be fun. You shouldn't take it that seriously where it's going to limit you on everything. If somebody tells you, don't wear this because of your weight or don't wear this because of your age or don't wear this because of your skin color, Whatever it is, if you like it, if you feel comfortable, if you think it's playful, if you just feel good with it, then just wear it. Fashion is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be taken that seriously, I think. So as long as you feel comfortable, just keep doing what you're doing. The other thing that I got are this pair of black sunglasses. I really like them. I don't know. I just never thought that I would like something like this. It reminds me a lot of like the mid 90s with the slim look, but it's not the cat eye type of sunglasses that I've seen a lot of girls who are influencers or very into trends wear. This is more of like a classic sunglasses shape that you can probably wear in a lot of different circumstances. So I think that's like my favorite thing about this pair of glasses. Also the frames are not really that dark so you can kind of still see people's eyes i like it i think it's a good fit um they're not super expensive and that's totally okay with me i don't believe in buying super expensive sunglasses but yeah for sure that one i am gonna keep i like it a lot so it's staying with me okay and the last thing that i got are these pair of pink sunglasses they look really cool just from seeing them like this I feel like I have something kind of similar, not quite exactly the same, but I think I have something quite similar. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this, to be honest. I think I might return it. It's a fun look for sure, and I, I'm just not sure if it goes with me, to be honest. I don't know if it's versatile enough where I can wear it to many different things, or if this is just kind of like a fun, sunglasses to have on the side for those occasions when I feel like wearing a fun pair of sunglasses and that's it. So most likely I'm going to return these but I'm still like trying to debate and think about it a little bit more. So that's it guys. That's my haul for the day. You know something that's kind of annoying about Urban Outfitters is to be honest their shipping method is just a little bit too chaotic so I ordered around 21 to 23 pieces I think one of them got cancelled because it got back order three things I think two pair of pants and maybe one top still on the way I think again they're back order but they do have the stock they're just waiting for it to be officially maybe available but then I got about I think like 12 different shipments 
and some of them came one day after the other or just in two different type of shipping methods maybe one UPS and they just drop the box right in front of the house one through USPS and they just put it in the mailbox like a smaller package but I think I got deliveries every day for a week and a half straight I don't know if this is the most popular opinion but I would rather get one package all together with all my things at once even if it's not delivered right away even if I had to wait a whole week and a half to get everything I would rather do that and have just one box and you know just keep track of one box instead of every day people knocking at my door and delivering just one piece of a 21 piece order I don't know it's not a big deal but I think they could do better it also could probably save them a lot of shipping and just logistics I don't know but maybe they have a certain way of doing things where it makes more sense to deliver one thing at a time just based on the sensor I think maybe some stores that do have the stock and the item is ordered from an online customer they just at the end of the day probably pack it up and ship it like in my case I ended up getting something with a sensor so maybe that's why when you order for Urban Outfitters you get things in that way because different stores maybe are shipping you different things I don't know but yeah I can do without uh, multiple deliveries in one day for almost two weeks I could do without that I, I wish that was an option so that I can you know send me everything at once and I'll be good so unfortunately I cannot show you the things that I got but I'm gonna put some pictures like around the screen so that you can see what I'm still waiting on. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys been buying anything from online? What's your online experience with Urban Outfitters? I used to buy a lot from them before. I don't know what I was thinking because I used to make much less money back then when I used to buy the most from them. And now that I earn more, I still feel like they're overpriced. They have like a really cool vibe to them, which is why I think they're probably one of the most successful retailers in the business right now. They can make a lot of things that don't necessarily actually are that good of a piece. They make it look like it's you have to have it. They do really good photography with things. Sometimes a little too good where the picture does not match at all the actual piece that you receive in the mail. So it's kind of a letdown, but I mean, hey, they're trying to sell their things. I think every business is probably shooting for that to make their things so enticing that they're gonna have a lot of clientele. I think for me, for example, when I get something that I don't like, I'll return it. I'll go through the trouble of printing the label if I have to, or going to the store, or just taking the time to return things and make sure that I get my money back for things that I don't wanna keep with me. But not everybody is like that, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people, and I used to be one of them, but I mean, I think a lot of people, when they don't like something, they kinda just forget about it. And they're like, eh, maybe I'll return it, maybe not. I'll keep it for now, so they just keep it. So for them to make people wanna buy more things at once and then kinda run the chance that they're gonna wanna return it, it's much better to do. So business-wise, I mean, they're pretty good at what they do, so it makes sense. I don't know where I'm going with all of this. Sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. So I just wanna leave you guys with this. Wear whatever makes you feel comfortable, Think about it, think if it actually does make you wanna reach for that piece, you're gonna get your money's worth out of it. Maybe even play around in your house once you get your order and plan three outfits, three outfits that you could go out of the door right now and you can totally feel like you're owning the outfit, that you feel comfortable, you feel cool, you feel pretty, you feel nice in it. Yeah, it's a good exercise, it really helps. I think I probably heard this in a YouTube video or something where it says picture yourself wearing this piece in three different outfits in your daily life. And if you can picture that, and maybe even if you can't picture it, but try it on then that means that's probably an, a piece that you want to keep and if you can't do that then it's probably something that look cool on the picture but not really in real life so don't be afraid to return things always keep your receipts always read a fine print before you buy something online or in store and see if you can do a return if you need to the other thing is that don't be afraid to not follow trends i think i was doing myself a disservice by just trying to follow trends there are things that look so cute 
on many other girls and it just doesn't look good on me instead of forcing the trend on my body I should make my body display itself in the best light possible and if something is trendy and I like it and I feel comfortable even if most people wouldn't think I look the best in it but if I feel good I'm gonna wear it like who cares but if you don't feel good in it if you feel self-conscious if you feel like are people looking at me do they think it's too much do they do, 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 do. if you're going through that then what's the point like there's not even a reason and I mean trendy things it moves around so much it just changes so quickly that there's no point in spending your heart and money on things that is gonna be popular for a month or two and then once it's not popular anymore you don't want to wear it because you're like oh that's that's so two months ago or two seasons ago don't do that to yourself try to be smarter for sure with your money don't give any of these companies your hard-earned money unless you're getting something out of them and that something should be like a piece that you feel like you can wear multiple times and you're completely happy with it at the end I think everybody's saying this but I really truly wish all of you guys and your families are doing well it's pretty hard out there right now and I think the uncertainty is what's getting to a lot of people so stay safe try to do your part don't go out unnecessarily try to when you go to the grocery stores if you see someone who's of an old age try not to be around their space so much because they are the most vulnerable people in our society right now through this crisis we have to do our part to protect them so try to stay in as much as you can i know there's some things that you can't really avoid like you have to walk your dog maybe you have to go get groceries that's fine but just do as much as you can possibly do to keep others and yourself safe. So anyway, guys, I really hope that this video provided some sort of entertainment or just something to fill up your time with. So if you can, before you leave, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I hope all of you guys stay safe and I wish you nothing but the best. See you in my next video. Bye, guys.